everyone. Welcome to the Marlene Saunders Show and Podcast. And I have my special guest, Gio Monroe. And I have my own podcast. It's called the Gio Monroe Show and Podcast. And I'm pretty sure that Marlene will have that link down below. And I will have her link on my podcast. <laughs> Awesome. So uh, this is going to be a regular, on a regular basis, get used to seeing Miss uh, Gio Monroe. Okay. So today we have a really good topic. I'm going to get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about catfished. Hmm. Now, for all of y'all who don't know about catfishing, or, you know, people use the term very loosely, what really is catfishing? So catfishing is a deceptive activity in which a person creates a fictional persona or a fake identity on social media and they target a specific victim. So they go and they make a, a profile on social media just to lure in and bait somebody else. What do you think about that, Jim? That's a shame. That's mm -hmm. all they got to do, you know? And some of them just pure lazy, you know? Uh, they just don't want to get out and get a job or nothing like that. They want you to give them their hard, your hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like catfishing at all. Yeah, and I wanted to talk about this topic because they actually have a show on TV called Catfish. So it's people who, you know, you wouldn't believe people um, send people money, hundreds, thousands of dollars, somebody they have never even met. And um, these women, and they say, I'm in love with this person. And that person may not even be a real person because some one woman who had lots of coin, she got it investigated. And the picture that he had on social media was a photo that you can download on Google. So yeah. it's not even a real person. And she never found out who it was. They never were able to trace it. So she was, uh, you know, send me money through Western Union or all these different places, how you can send money. She sent money to him repeatedly. And um, let me get right into um, four ways that you can probably know that you're being catfish. Number one, the relationship progresses quickly. So the like you just meet somebody and then they'll say something like, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Let, let's move in together. Let's get married. So they want fast, 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 quickly, just so that they can get whatever they want, money, whatever it is, that measure that they want to get so that they can get what they want from you. So number two, most of the time, you've never actually seen their face. It, they have all kinds of different weird pictures, like a picture of animals, even a picture of somebody else that they may have downloaded, like I said, on Google, or maybe it's somebody that they know it's their picture. So you've actually never even seen their face. They usually only communicate with you through email or on a social media source. Um, number three, um, they're not on the social media often. They will send you a message and then you send them a message and you may not hear from them for days or weeks. So that's another a red flag for catfishing. And like I said, number four, they ask for money. All of those, yeah. all, all of those ways is ways that you can be catfish and you may not even think about it because when you're talking to somebody, you know, most of the time they, they know a person who's vulnerable. They're looking for a certain thing. Like a, they know a person who maybe they don't have the best looks. They're not the best looking person or a person who has lots of money. Even they have catfished older people like senior citizens or handicapped people um, claiming to do certain services that they don't even have the skills to do. So 
they are just deceive people out of money and, and services, even to say, oh, I'm a licensed contractor, but you got to first send me $10,000 before <laughs> I'll, I'll um, start your service. And right. some people are so gullible and they send them the money. Right. So, and, and they uh, also, can, oh, go uh, ahead. okay, they also look for people on the dating sites. Be careful on the dating sites because I was thinking about getting on the dating sites. Then I said, well, wait a minute, let me do some research. And I said, scammers on the dating sites. They have romance scammers that are catfish you. The romance is what she said to take the relationship really fast. And then the thing that they say on the dating sites, never give out money and never give your phone number, address, no kind of uh, information like that. If they insist on that from you, then you are being catfish. And most of the people that's on there are not. If you're looking for a man, it's probably a woman that's catfishing you. Because a woman knows what a woman want to hear. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I learned all of this through just research. Be careful on these dating sites. If they say, well, I want an email address, a phone number, or uh, what else did I say? Email, phone number. or Yeah, those two things. Do not give those out because they'll take your phone number and sell it. Mm -hmm. And you start getting all these weird calls. And then the email, they will try to hack your email and then try to charge you to get your email back. You never give out nothing in part. Now, if you really want to know if this person is uh, uh, real, then you ask them to meet you on StreamYard or Zoom. StreamYard, all you're going to do is send them a link. OK, and you don't want to send them a link with your real email. You make up a fake one. They can have that one, <laughs> you know, and if they say now, nah, if, if they never answer you back or anything like that, then, you know, right off. But if they say, yeah, I'll meet you. But you still have to be careful uh, of people that you meet on the Internet. Then right. they have one more. I just want to talk about one more. The war, the, the, the veteran. The mm -hmm. army romancer, okay, and then the one my wife just died, the widow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just be careful of those on the dating sites. Yeah, uh, th those are really, that's really important information because so many women, men, and you would think sometimes, oh, that's just something for young people. But it, the usual people who are being scammed is, is older people, you it know, is. people over 40, people who have got out of, you know, their single parents or um, they newly divorced or widowed or something. And they're just have an open heart and they're ready for these relationships. And here comes somebody who knows Prey on the gullible people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're looking for somebody. And they can see by reading your profile that you don't know stuff. They they can spot you a mile away. Oh, they put all of this information. And another thing, like you had said, never put, you show your, your home address. So like when you have pictures on your profile and things like that, if you're going to have that, never show like, in front of your building or showing your address of your home, or if they ask you what's your address, never give out uh, any of that information. And I know that this may sound like, oh, that's stupid. Doesn't everybody know it? But uh, never give out your bank information because they say, oh, I want to send you some money. This is one, one of the things, scams that I read on Google. So what they're doing is they're saying, uh, I need your routing number and your account number. And they draw out all of the money out of your account and because they, they're saying, I want to send you some money. Right. But actually, they want your money actually they take it out so if they have that information they can take out money out of your account and also you give them your phone number on a dating site 
they can call your cell phone, you know, wherever you got the phone with, uh, carrier, your cell phone carrier. And uh, if they know just a bit about you, they can, t they can get a lot from your phone number. OK, and if the carrier is not a good carrier, you say, OK, they can transfer your stuff to whatever they want it to go to. And then they got everything. So mm -hmm. that's why they say on these dating sites, do not. Instagram is terrible. With the African princes and all of this here stuff. And the yeah, army. Go, go into that. Let's go into that. Yeah, and the doctors, and 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 then I'm overseas, and uh, uh, I got a four year old kid, and they don't care if you say you married. They keep right on talking, and I just keep right on saying, "No, you are a scammer." Do and then I just block them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mom. Yeah. So, okay. Now everybody knows about. Uh, when people roll up in your DM, for those who don't know what DM means, direct messaging, okay? So your DM, and then the first thing that they say, hey, beautiful. Hey, pretty. What about I, you? I just want to talk to you sometime. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and they always have a big title, you know, beware of those big titles. I'm a doctor. I'm a I'm uh, I, I'm in the the army. I'm in the military. Um, I'm a oh, actor. Here, here's another one. I'm yeah. I'm I'm a prince. That's the ones that I'm getting recently. I'm a Nigerian prince. <laughs> and I said to myself, I said, okay, so I just I'm gonna let this roll. I said, oh, you're a Nigerian prince. Amazing. I said, um, so. Since you have so much money, since you're a prince, um, can you send me? I need about fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> that ends it right there. How <laughs> many help got out for that? You know, but you never know who is behind the picture. It could be a woman or a man or an alien. You just don't know. Yep, you know? and, and, they, and they always have all these beautiful things to say. You're the most beautiful woman or man I've ever seen. And just like I said, they want things to progress quickly. So the first thing they they want they want to know is important things about you. Never tell people your personal business, like um, where you work, how yeah. much money you make, what's your bank, what bank you bank with. Mm -hmm. You know, your email, certain things don't tell private information because they want to move things quickly along. And especially they want to hurry up and get married, especially I want to go into this because now let's get into those who are trying to catfish so that they can get visas to live in your country. Right. That's a big, big scam. It's a big multi-million dollar business where some people actually marry people just to get them into the country. And there, and then these people have their feelings involved and think that the person likes them. Once they get their papers, they cut you off. They cut you off, and now you have heartache. And I hate to say it, now you look like a fool too, because you got scam. So, got to be careful about the ones that want to move fast. Don't let anybody rush you for for thing for a relationship. Right. If somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, it doesn't matter how fa how fast it goes. Take your time. Talk with them. Like Gio said, meet them in person. Like you should be seeing them on on some type of platform, Zoom, um, something. Not just pictures. Don't just ask for pictures because that's the old school way. Because right. anybody can send pictures of anybody. Right. You and don't send so them no more. pictures because they'll take your picture and put it on somebody that has no clothes on, naked, pure naked, birthday suck, and put your face on it. And then they say that they're going to send it to all of your family members if you don't pay them this, this, this. Never send no pictures. If they don't like the pictures you put up on the, uh, uh, the site, too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's a, I'm glad you brought that up because that is something that happens to um, people. They'll they'll take pictures of you on your social media, and and you have to understand people can download 
you, uh, photographs that uh, you put on social media sites like Instagram or Facebook. So be careful the pictures that you put on there. I know everybody has the right to show what they want to show on there, but you don't know what sites you could be on these uh, rated X sites. Right. And um, you have no idea and you don't authorize that. But people, you don't know the mind of people. You don't know yeah. what people think. And there's people who have some twisted thinking. So I just want everybody to have like some awareness, um, especially women, because um, sometimes as women, we kind of get ourselves involved so quickly because we're, we're just so we have the open heart and, oh, I just want to fall in love and I would just want to meet somebody. And you just want to be trusting to people that you shouldn't trust. You, you fall too fast, too quickly. You give up too much information. You give up everything emotionally, right. everything. Uh, hold some things back. Get to know a person. Take your time. Don't rush things. Um. I just think that uh, this is important information, even if just this reaches one person and they're like, oh, I shouldn't um, do things. Oh, and I forgot to talk about also don't send money to people through Western Union because that's a big one. People in other countries, they're like, oh, I just need this because I have a sick child or uh, I'm a single parent and I need some some help. And the next thing it starts off with a dollar, five dollars. Oh, my, my kid needs milk. And at the end of the day, have you ever seen this person? in person. Have you ever seen, so you don't even know, they may not even have a child. That's how deep these scams go. That's how deep these cat, this catfishing goes. They'll make you believe that they're this person. Have you, have you even seen a baby? You're sending people money um, saying, help me with my kid. They may not even be a, have a child. <laughs> it's Man. just how, how far they can scam. They got to go before God. That's all I'm going to say to you scammers. Y'all got to pay. Okay. In the end, you will pay. Yep. And it's not worth it to have your reputation because who knows what you could go through. You could go through uh, losing lots of money, the, the emotional toll, like if you get your heart involved and in thinking that somebody loves you and they really don't or the money that you wasted, the time, um, you could also be put on different social medias or websites without your permission, your head chopped off and put on to, to bodies of something else, involved in some things that you don't want. So be careful like what you're putting out there on social yeah, media true. platforms. I think it's this is a very important conversation, not only for women, but also men too, because on the other side, um, when men, sometimes they'll have a conversation with you and then maybe a woman will jump to the conclusion, oh, he likes me, but did he tell you that? You know, I want it to be on both sides, you know, be aware, don't get yourself too excited too quickly. And, and, cat, and uh, women catfish men in a minute too. Now, Don't talk men, about that. I, I want to hear this conversation. I'm so just how, saying, how can that happen? Well, <clears throat> most of the time they get contacted on Facebook in mm -hmm. their DM. Women, uh, they say the picture is really fine and they got the beautiful and all this stuff. And behind that picture could be another man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they slide into people's DMs and they just say, um, Hi, uh, I saw you're very handsome, just like they would do a woman. So I'm just telling men to be very careful about that, too, because you could be catfished as well. Because we all, if you've been by yourself a long time and stuff like that, you all get that to the point to, uh, where you want to be loved, too. So you, you, you have that little vulnerability right there that it can happen to anybody, a woman or a man. So just be careful okay this is why one one other thing marlene i don't if i don't know you in facebook mm -hmm, you can't be my friend yeah i think that's important because i see people all the time they'll have like seven eight hundred friends like how could you know all these people 
kind of, so you have to be aware. And but I also wanted to say something very important. I want to talk to the young people because that's a big target of catfishing. Um, on social media, the uh, young girls and boys, you know, ten to ten to maybe fourteen, when you're vulnerable and, and they'll see somebody and they'll be like, "Oh, you look nice or you look pretty," and they're at that stage where they're starting to like. The, the opposite sex and they're thinking, oh, oh, this person likes me and it could be a predator trying to get you to, oh, meet me at this location and you think it's another little, another girl that's your age or the opposite, you think it's a guy and you're, you think you're hanging out playing video games right. and, and it could be a predator waiting to trap you. So um, you be careful about who you're chatting with if you don't see these people, like how me and Gio are talking to each other, if you're not seeing a person, don't just go by what a person says. That anybody could say, I'm this age and I live here. And they could live in a completely different place and be a completely different sex. So don't just go by what somebody verbally says. Have you seen them? Do you know them in person? You know, after a while, if, even if you do get into a relationship with somebody on social media, have you actually seen them in person? Have you been around them? Have you seen their family? Don't just be in a rush to do like some people hurry up and then they're engaged to somebody. They don't even know them. So don't be in a rush to go off and marry somebody because it, it's going to affect your whole life. That's a big decision for marriage. So just want to encourage somebody for that. Go ahead, Gio. I was going to say, um, in my family, there was a teenager girl, teenage girl, and she went online and was talking to, I guess she thought it was a boy her age or whatever. And come to find out, uh, it was a trafficker. And he trapped, and she went and met him, and they couldn't find her for six months, and they finally got a, a P.I. to go and hunt for her. And he found her. I can't say too much, but yeah, and he had to really get her out of there. And, and she was messed and, up behind that. Yeah, and and the and the sad part about that, I don't like to go down that dark road, but the sad part is that there's a lot of young people who get caught up in this, you know, because they're trying to, you know grow up too fast or they think they're grown and they think that their parents are trying to hold them back from you know living their life and enjoying and having yeah. fun and they think that and really the parents are really trying to protect you from some danger and then they go off and they go and meet up with somebody and they may never see their parents and loved ones again That's unfortunately right. some some things some of these stories end in tragedy so so I just wanted to have this real uh, conversation because uh, that's what I do over here on the Marlene Saunders show and podcast. We got we have real conversations. And um, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time to this channel, I would love for you to subscribe to the Marlene Saunders show and podcast. Like, leave me a comment in the comment section, your opinion on this topic, and also be sure to con connect with my co-host of the, G uh, the Geo Monroe Show and Podcast. We would really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Our links will be below. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.